All right, folks, I wasn't going to make a video about this because there's already some good videos out there, but they gloss over how to get this air box out. There are two bolts right here that if you don't know they're there, it's going to take you forever to find them. Uh, they're literally behind the engine. You have to reach, you have to take the inner fender out, reach up behind the tunnel. Um, there's a jackass mechanic that's made a video on how to do this, but he leaves this off because all he's trying to do is scare you from doing it yourself because he wants you to take it to him. But there's two right here after you disconnect your heater core and your evaporator. All of these bolts, there's one, two, three, there's a total. Of, and then there's two that you undo from inside the cap. So three, in the, three from the, the firewall, two from the box. And I'll show you where they are inside here because this guy completely leaves that out. He needs to get off of YouTube. But they're literally back here. They're behind the engine. You can see one of them right there. There's another one even further back. Let me try to get this light so y'all can see. Uh, there's one of them and there's one of them even further. That's not it, that, that bolt sticking out. Um, but there's another one even further than that one plus this one right there. So uh, there's three inside here that uh, you can see, you can actually see that one, but there's one even further back that you just kind of have to feel. Once you take those off, it comes right out. But anyway, there's another video on how to remove your dash. Uh, that's a really good video. That's how I was able to do mine. I didn't take my dash all the way out. I left the, uh, I actually left the uh, shift cable attached and just kind of laid it back. I uh, just kind of popped it loose from all the little holders. There's plenty of room. And then I was able to access this area here to change my evaporator. But uh, the guy that makes a video about removing your dash, really good video. That old son of a gun uh, that doesn't show you how to do anything. Don't even waste your time. So in case anybody was curious why I'm going through all this trouble, I'm in South Florida. Saw a lot of the comments saying I just get rid of the truck or roll the windows down. Here's the heater core. And I'm not just showing you like the good side. That's the heater core. You can see that never gets used. There's the evaporator core. That's necessary in Florida. Another thing I did is it doesn't come with this little foam cover. That's from the factory on the original one. I think it helps it seal up in the box. So if you're really careful, I took that off the old one and put it around the new one. So I'm about to put it all back in the box. Um, taking it out the box ain't that hard. If y'all can get the dash out and you can get the box out, then y'all can figure out how to get get this in and out of the box. 